Hi and welcome to another Type with me. In today's video I'm gonna talk about Pinya. The view.js store to manage your state. So Pinya, you need to check it out on GitHub, right? It's uh, something that I'm starting to use uh, right now in one of my pet projects and it works very well with Vue3x and Petwood. It's very easy, uh, not a lot of cumbersome to set it up and uh, very nice uh, to use. So we're gonna start using it. I'm gonna add it to a simple uh, VTJS view application and we're gonna play a little bit with the stores, uh, define some uh, um, interfaces there and then start using it on our application. So let's go. So first of all, we need to uh, create a new application. So I'm going to create a application Pinya. Uh, I'm going to call it Pinya app. Oh yeah, I'm just going to call it Pinya. Well, let's create it. Here we are. I'm going to go to Pinya. And now we can start off this application, right? It's a very easy application. Here we go, create app, mount app. And now I also need to install. So I'm gonna do that. So when I start my application, I can very easily uh, yarn run that, right? And then it will start my view.js application. So here we are. This is our view.js application. And here we have something like counter and you can very easily click on it and it will uh, go up, right? But yeah, it's just been managed within the component itself. And it would make more sense to have some kind of store for that. So I'm going to create a store for that within Pinya. So it's important to have view tree oh. So I'm going to use that. Let's do your install. Right, yes, here we are. And then of course I'm gonna use it, so I'm gonna use create pinya right and then of course I can do the import of that one. And now we have installed the plugin. And now I want to do your green dev. So when we execute this, you will see that it could not resolve view composition reply. Well, it's important to know that version 054 is not the correct version that we want. Uh, it's not working, uh, so we need to have the next one, the next version here. So it's important to have that, and for that we are going to do yarn. Pinya at next. Now he's going to install that one, right? You see here that he's changing that to release candidate six. And then if we now going to our application, we are going to execute it. 
yeah, it's working. So bear in mind that you need to have the right version of uh, Pinya to make it work, right? So the next thing that we need to do is defining our store. It's very easily, uh, an application can have multiple stores. So I'm just gonna create a folder stores. And then here we can have something like uh, counter, for example. And we, I call it counter.ts. And then here we have an interface, which is our state. So I'm gonna call it counter state. Here I'm gonna use a counter state. I'm gonna define it. I'm gonna import it. Here we have use uh, counter store. And then we're just going to define everything. And here I'm going to give it an ID counter. And we have counter state. All right. Now every uh, store can have actions. So we can define the actions. These actions can be, the, can be uh, something that you do on your state. So for example, actions um, reset, right? We're going to reset our timer and then we can do and uh, this dot uh, counter equals zero, all right? We can define another action called increment. And then, of course, we can do something like this. Uh, we can do this dot counter. Uh. But for me, the most important thing is that we have here an interface, a counter state, and that we can do something uh, with that. Uh, and of course, that we can easily import our, uh, our store. So we're going to do that as well. So in our uh, hello world, we have a method called setup, right? And then here we can very easily do const uh, store equals use counter store. And then we have everything here. Monday use counter store. So of course, I need to import it. So I do import the counter store from. So now we have use counter store, and then here I can do something like this store dots counter. Another thing that we need to do now is having the action, right? That's the action right here. So again, uh, const increment equals store dot increment here. That's one thing that you could do. Another thing that you could do is also just give store right here. And then of course you can have the store dot increment. And then we can go here, we can have store dot counter dot counter. Right. So we save this. And then we can see what the result will be. I'm gonna put also here a button called 
reset and then here we can just do uh, store with resets and uh, oh. I just need to do here a reset, right? So I'm just going to reset, save it. And then if we go to our application right here, you'll see that I have a counter. I can just decrease it. I can just reset it. So that's basically something that's really cool. Another thing that we could do is having getters and setters. So uh, I'm going to create a getter where we have a counter uh, doubled right and then I'm gonna uh, display it here as well so let's define getters and here we can see double uh, double counter and then I do return of this dot counter return Of course, I need to do something like this. Return number, and this returns a number. So great, uh, we have already something right here. Of course, I need to put here a comma, and then it will be fine. Not complaining, of course. So thank you very much that you are still with me. I'm just gonna add here uh, something else in my html right and then of course i need to put here something like this store the counter i'm gonna save it and then we're gonna see what happens so here we are if i click on counter you'll see that we have here one and then here we have r2 because it's this dot counter multiplies by two so that's that's just great and if we reset it you will get uh, zero again so it's very easy to manipulate your state a little bit and if you want to have specific getters and, and, and setters that are doing specific things on top of your state well you can very easily do so um, you can also do asynchronous functions uh, as actions that's also something that's possible i'm not going to show it right here but just play around with it for me the most powerful thing on this one is that you can define your state within TypeScript and you can very easily manipulate your state and get access to your state from whatever component you uh, want it to be. It's very intuitive, it's very light, it's very great. I, I much like it much more than Vuex or if you're gonna uh, or if you are used to work with uh, React and Redux. Also, that is is, is a fresh air that comes into mind when we are using Pina. So uh, start using it, play around with it, give some comments uh, about Pinya in, uh, in the comment below. That would be great if you like it or not like it or what your opinion is of uh, Pinya. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.